Happy Monday, Garfield families. Uh, by now, I'm sure you received the email from Michael Hausman and Dr. Schaefer in Thompson School District announcing our return to um, remote learning for Garfield in-person students beginning Monday, November 23rd. And so most of the newsletter that you're receiving along with this, uh, this video is dedicated to making sure you have all the information you need so that that's a smooth process because it begins the 23rd and 24th. Then we go on Thanksgiving break and it will remain in place for the following three weeks from no Monday, November 30th through Friday, December 18th. And so most, again, most of the newsletter there has links and access to things like uh, on top of our list, the things that we need to make sure we have covered before we leave this week is one, um, that you have been able to communicate with Thompson School District, that you have a reliable device that works um, and that you have internet, internet access at home. Um, we are offering this survey to students here while they're in our building because really what sense does it make to send home a survey about internet access to a home that doesn't have internet access right so um, for some of you you can take that survey on your phone um, even though you don't have wi-fi access uh, in your home and, and and still get the results to us but it matters that we get those responses so that we can respond to you and offer support where needed along with that is if you don't have a thompson school district device and you need one the link is in the newsletter as well as to get the process going to check that out um, and i want to highly 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 like capitalize, underline, boldface, highly encourage that if you don't have a Thompson School District device checked out to your son or daughter um, or sons or daughters that you get that done because it makes, it takes all the difficulties that you might be having about all the different personal accounts and which account am I logged into and it gets rid of them. Um, it makes the process for accessing learning each day seamless and so why fight one more battle you know what i'm saying so if you haven't got that done i want to highly encourage you to do that and again the link is just below this video um uh, in the newsletter that that accompanies this video so what else though what other information do you want to know or would be helpful to know from me right now um i'm looking at my little notes here so i've talked about the parent survey and i've talked about the access to a student device um you know i guess the other big things are that uh, that, you know, the, the main elements of an educational system remain intact. And so, you know, things like attendance. If you know that your student is not going to be able to access learning on any particular day, just as though they wouldn't be able to access learning if we were expecting them to come to our building, you, I, I do want you to call um, our attendance line um, and let them know just as you would. You know, if, if a student is sick and just can't attend online learning, we get it. Um, but just call and let us know. Sometimes that's happening between you and your teacher. You know, for some reason, access has failed. And so you send a quick dojo message to your teacher and say, hey, we're having difficulties. Um, because you communicate that, we avoid unnecessary, unexcused tardies and unexcused absences. So please do communicate with us. And, and then the other thing that I would implore you to consider as we're heading into this remote learning for the second time this academic year is to really consider what kind of learning space your students have in your home um, and just being considerate of things that are obvious distractors, right? Uh, TVs that are on, uh, having students visually away or turned away from those types of things. And then if possible or when possible, um, a place where a student is able to sit up and attend learning um, you know, in a physical position that looks like they're ready to learn in a physical space where they're as least distracted as possible. And the one piece of advice I can give you is sometimes, you know, headphones make all the difference. So uh, at times, especially if you've got more than one student in your home, it's difficult to, to eliminate the chatter. But by putting headphones on your students, they can be um, they can be hearing exactly what's happening in their head and not what the students or the world around you has gotten going on as well. Because I know many of you um, are working and um, needing to be home as well. So if we can help with that, we're here to help. We've got access to those things here at school. We just need to know what you need. Okay. Um, beyond that, some of the other consequences of this decision are one, um, the December 8th uh, um, Makeup photo day has been moved to January. We don't have a date yet, but it's been necessary to cancel the retake date. Um, know that it will occur because I know many of you have ordered pictures and need a, um, a retake date. So we'll make sure that that happens for you. Um, and yeah, and then, I mean, other than that, we'll just, you know, uh, look for some some amazing opportunities to continue to connect with you because uh, if you're anything like me, you know that the heart of the school is the connections that we have with you, the community. So um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and launch right now in this video, the very first community connecting activity. Um, and it's about being thankful. So our wonderful Miss Tammy 
um, at my request, went through and cut out, laminated, and made ready enough of these to send home with every student, home, staff, all the rest. Um, and I'm also going to be including with these a uh, zip tie. Um, and here's my request, that you and your family and your students will, will take time to write something that you're thankful for in this season. Um, because there's so much that is causing people stress, and there's so much that has changed. But certainly, in a community this amazing, um, we can come together and list some things that our Grizzlies are thankful for. So mine says, I'm thankful for you, my Garfield family. And what I'd like you to do is with the zip tie and with this laminated um, grizzly bear here, is go find a place and we'll start uh, perhaps on the south side of our campus nearest our um, community garden. Find a place on our chain link fence and attach your grizzly to that chain link fence. Um, and I would love to start that this week. So we'll get these coming home this week. Uh, but by this week, and certainly Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, I would love to see these all over those panels on the south side of our fence, uh, just describing how our Garfield family is thankful um, for each other, for their, for their homes, their families, for our teachers, for so many things. Um, and so if you'll join me in this, that would be amazing. Okay, so I'll close up by telling you again, I'm thankful for you. I know this isn't easy, but we're here to support you. So just reach out with what you need and we'll take care of you. Okay, bye-bye now.